The Australians resumed after lunch at 3 for 90 on a wicket built for runs. It took Dean Jones to realise the potential of the pitch. Oh, he's got that one away. And uh, no point in running at all. It was a quick bouncer and Dean Jones played a beautiful pull shot. Very good shot from Dean Jones. He's hit that superbly. Very good wicket, as I indicated earlier on. And you can afford to play shots like that when you know a bowler digs the ball in and you know what height it's going to get up. It was an attempt at a Yorker. It's going away square towards the short boundary. Malcolm Marshall's down there. And uh, not quite making it. Yes, well, without being too unkind on Malcolm, he probably should have made that. He coasted for quite a period of time. Pretty well placed by Jones. But Marshall really didn't go 100%. He's got that one away fine, so poor old Malcolm Marshall's got to go in the other direction. And when he looks up from down there, he'll realise how far away the stumps are, but have a look at that throw. Three for 108. Got that one away, and into the fence it'll go as well. But that's looking a little bit uh, comfortable with that little gutter and uh, those sharp-ended pickets. Very good shot this by Dean Jones. Yes, you've got to be able to cut and pull if you're a quality high order player. Oh. No ball called and Jones can come back easily for the two. And 50 for Dean Jones. It's a very timely innings for Dean Jones. He's had something of a mixed season. He's got 50 and Board has got 16. It's 3 for 145. And another no ball. Very impressed. Yep. It's well played. Desmond Haynes wasn't prepared to dive, shot out the boot and pushed into the gutter. Well played, glorious on drive. Yes, that was a magnificent shot. Tremendous way to start against the new bowler. Doesn't do the bowler's confidence too much good, but have a look at the timing here and the placement. Used his feet, got to the pitch of the ball and flicked it through the onside there. Well, that's sliced off the top edge. Gone away for four. Patrick Patterson stays, stays there in the middle of the pitch. For some time, it's been a long, hard, and frustrating day for him. Yes, he hasn't bowled that badly. But I do wish he would get on with it a little bit more, Patrick. He, every time he seems to get hit for four, and fair enough, that's not the greatest shot in the world slice over the, over the top of the slips but 
he seems to stand there and glare for it appears ages that's a lovely shot it wasn't a big drive he just came forward and really eased on it and depended on timing and placement for him to get three to carry Australia on to the 200 mark then a 3-4-200 at the end of the over picked up inside the boundary so that uh, he moves on to 99 with Australia now 3-4-227 So just one away from a century for a batsman who had lost his place in the Australian team, didn't play in the first test match, made his return in the Melbourne test. Field now comes in to make this last run for a century more difficult. He'll be looking anxiously at the umpire and that's his hundred just come off the edge onto the pad he looked back at the umpire two runs to Jones he's 101 there really is a beauty right off the meat of the bat and it wasn't all that short, I didn't think, Bill. It seemed to come off the wicket, slowly, Richie, but he picked it up beautifully. And the placement was there. It was fairly short. It stood up. And he just timed it to perfection. Dean Jones is a very good square of the wicket player. Right over the top of it. Beautifully played. Just short of a good length, beautifully into position. Yeah. Well, that's a lovely shot, beautifully timed, and into the fence down at square leg. Not even little Gus, Gus Logie could get across there quickly enough to stop that one. Lovely timing. That was an excellent shot. Picked off the pads. Really taking advantage of that short boundary. Probably the shortest one of the lot. So the right-hander now, Jones. Face Richards, who's staying around the wicket to him. And he slipped and missed it, or really went a little bit too far there. The ball's going way down to the long boundary, and so they should be able to run four here. Very lush outfield, and... As Patrick Patterson went for that ball, he slipped and uh, went sliding past it. Nice little bonus there for Dean Jones. And there's 150 for Dean Jones. Very good innings from Jones. Full pitch, beautifully played. Yes, yeah, he got down the wicket to that run, he it through the gap, and once again, Patrick Patterson being kept interested all the way down to the boundary down there. He's had an uh, unlucky day of it. He can. It won't go all the way, but a happy Dean Jones and a happy crowd here at the Adelaide Oval including the Australian team greeting a double century by Dean Jones only the 11th man to score a double century in test cricket here at the Adelaide Oval his second in test cricket 
There they go again. He's gone. Run out. Hit the stumps. Doesn't ground the bat. Was he lazy or was he out by a mile? Good throw. Desmond Haynes hitting the stumps. Jones run out for a magnificent 216. The Adelaide Oval stands to a man and woman for a great test innings. Great day for Australia. Great day for Dean Jones. One of the few things that he did wrong, really, in terms of judgment over the course of the past five and a bit sessions. A marathon knock sprinkled with some great shots, some memorable ones, and it's been our privilege to witness that here today, the Adelaide Oval. Well played, Dean Jones.